A variety of problems can occur when setting up a video security system, costing extra time and money. Why not avoid them at the beginning? In this video, we will look at five common mistakes during installation, so that you can do it right the first time. Number five. Installing infrared cameras in the wrong places or in places where the infrared beams are blocked. It's pretty common to install infrared cameras in the wrong place. As you can see in this video, things look perfect during the day. But when lights are turned off, the image gets completely overexposed. To get it right, avoid installing cameras where infrared lights are blocked or the camera captures too much reflected light. Direct the camera away from anything that reflects infrared light directly back to your camera, like walls or glass, as well as other direct light sources. Number four, forgetting to remove the protective film from the camera. To protect the camera from damage, protective film is often used inside or outside of camera housing. We have met innumerable cases where customers have complained about image clarity problems after installation. Only to find out they forgot to remove the protective film. It is recommended removing any protective film after all other necessary installation steps, so as to avoid fingerprints. Another example is PTZ cameras. Make sure to remove all protective packaging or covering, whether foam, foam, or tape, from inside the housing before powering up the camera. Number three. Obstructed installation angle wastes field of view. You don't want to waste any field of view if it is for security. Installing such a camera at a too steep an angle will waste about half of the field of view. We suggest a double checking and adjusting the camera angle right after installation. To make things even easier, you can scan the QR code on the sticker to add the camera on the Hike Connect app while adjusting the angle. Also, use the app to check whether the camera's field of view has too low an angle or is obstructed by leaves or anything else. Number two, ignoring distance limits of wires. We all know that in general, maximum distance of UTP cabling over Ethernet is 100 meters, around 328 feet. What's worse, poorly wired or low-quality cables can easily affect that distance limit to lower than 90 meters. Exceeding that limit could cause your camera to lose data and power. If you need the wires connecting the camera support longer distance, try these options. One. If you are using High Vision PoE NVR, simply go to PoE Configuration page and turn on the PoE Distance Switch for that channel to extend up to 300 meters. If you are using High Vision switches, find the DIP switch on rear panel and turn on the switch to extend the distance up to 250 meters. 3. Add PoE repeaters from that camera. And the number one common mistake in our list in setting up CCTV security systems for getting to waterproof the cables. While camera housings are typically designed with IP67 dust and waterproof protection, the cables are not. When the ports of network and power cable are exposed or the SD card cover is not installed correctly, they could rust easily. What's worse, water vapor can accumulate on the camera lens. Cameras become useless in this condition, sometimes even need to be replaced with a new one. The process of waterproofing cables is really easy. Simply use the waterproof tape and jacket provided in the packaging. Place the zero ring gasket onto the end of the camera network interface. Press down on the waterproof rubber gasket. Feed the network cable through the waterproof end cap. Plug in the network cable and tighten the waterproof jacket. Finally, use the waterproof tape to wrap exposed connections on the power cable. There you have it, five common mistakes during video security system installation. We hope this video has been hopeful for you to make your next installation a complete success. We'll see you in the next video.
Nhanh tay đăng ký lắp đặt ngay, hotline 19002529, cuộc quay web vũ hoàng telecom.vn.